two USB ports on my Orange Pi expansion port doesn't work after I installed Armbian with the mainline kernel. And when I noticed this, I first looked at the expansion port to see if there was any shorts between the tracks or if the solderings were broken or something like that, but everything looked good. There wasn't any visible defects on this port. The overall port quality seems pretty good and I don't think this port is the reason for the USB ports not working. And the same goes for the main port. The pin header looks okay. And I made sure I was aligning the expansion port and this main port correctly. And I even tried with another orange byte zero. It didn't work either. So I suspect that the problem might be on the software side. To demonstrate the problem, I run the lsusb command with the USB drive connected to one of the expansion ports connectors. Then same command with the drive on another USB connector. And nothing shows up. That is because I need to enable a device tree overlay, just like with Raspberry Pi, some devices need device tree overlays. Here I have divided the screen on two parts. On top half, I will list the available device tree overlays, which are located at the boot slash DTP slash overlay. These files, including the names or the content, may change, so be sure to check out the current files on your system and read the README file. To enable needed device tree overlays, I will edit the file boot slash armpianenv.txt, which is somewhat similar to the config.txt and the Raspberry Pi. They aren't actually compatible with each other, but the things they control are similar. Now there already exists line overlay underscore prefix equals the same string that is on the beginning of all the device tree overlay files. So when I enable overlays with overlays equal overlays file name, I don't need to add the prefix which is already defined above. The USB ports on the expansion port are USB 2 and USB 3. So I will add USB host 2 and USB host 3 overlays. Then I reboot my orange by 0 and check the LSUSB again. First with USB drive not connected, then connected to the one of the expansion ports, USB ports, and then with the USB drive connected to the another USB port on the expansion port. And it seems to work. I can see the drive on the LSUSB's output. The reason why I needed to enable the device tree overlays is because it has been decided that nothing that isn't on the port or that isn't required by default aren't enabled by default. If user wants to add optional ports to the Orange Pi, they need to enable those devices by using the device tree overlays. Remember that there isn't stable release with the mainline kernel for Orange Pi 0 yet, so things might change. If you found this useful, don't forget to like this video.